Hey, this is Mark from Ash. Playing bass for about 26 years with Ash, uh, but recently Stephen from Ruos says, hop on the website and have a look at the pedals and stuff, and maybe you know you, well, you can try some stuff out and see if you like it. And I noticed they had a, a section for basses there, so I was looking at that. But it would be kind of awesome if the sort of like the island was rising out of the rising out of the stripe, like a kind of like it was the horizon line for the for the water. So I did a quick mock-up in Photoshop and blasted it over to Stephen and he was like, that looks great, um, we, we'll build you, we, we'll make you that. And I was like, sweet, great. I just got the guitar a couple days ago. We were playing on an enormous stage on the Titanic slipway for the BBC Biggest Weekend. A nice way to break it in. Um, I actually played it on the last two songs of the show with the undertones up, which was a nice touch because Right beside me was Mickey from the Undertones playing, a reckon, playing his Reckonbacker and then I was rocking the, the Rue. Initial thoughts on the bass was, apart from the fact that it looks cool, it, feel, I mean, it feels great, the, the neck is maple wood, there's no finish on it so it's really smooth, it's really easy to play, you're I mean, just moving, your, it's kind of effortless to sort of like move your hand along the neck. And the action itself is quite a lot lower than the setup I've got on Thunderbird anyway. So it's quite easy to, it's just, it's just very easy to play. There's, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not trying too hard to push down on the, on the strings. Tonally, I think there's a lot more top end to it. And it's a cleaner note, so it's a little bit, a little bit brighter and punchier. Certainly, whenever you kick in a distortion pedal, it's got more crunch and I'd say sizzle on the top. So if you like sort of like a nasty distorted bass sound, it, it works really well. Um, certainly because you know, Ash is a three piece, whenever Tim's playing lead guitar, then I try to fill the sound out with distortion on the bass and um, make a fuller sound. Asked me to name it, and I guess because you've got scale like Michael there on the on the horizon line, which is also the artwork for our new album, Islands. I think it has to be called Skellig, like, really. I went down there last year because it was a bit of a Star Wars fan and I shot a lot of the Last Jedi there, so I think it it's good a good homage to that that it should be called Skellig. Like. 